Hi Rete, everyone. Today, me and my little assistant are going to talk you about a little trick. A trick that will give life to your rhythm track, your rhythm guitar. Usually, when I see someone playing guitar, I see his right hand doing this movement. See, it's simply up and down, and you see how the sound is uniform. There is no strong accent and weak accent. I'm sorry, I don't really know which is the proper word. I always knew one, two, three, four as accent. Usually, one and three are the strong accents or movements, and two and four are the weak accents or uh, weak movements. Uh, this trick is basically a jazz trick and uh, basically you gotta transform the second and the fourth accents or um, movement into the strong ones. How you can do this? You can do this by making a circular movement with your right hand, which is basically not my technique, so this is not what I'm going to show you, or you can do a V movement. And this is what I usually do, and I'm going to show you how your uh, rhythm track is coming to life. See? Also, you see, I'm doing a, a small movement. This will be a inch or a couple of inches. A small movement. Slowly is this. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. For now, I see I'm exaggerating the movement. Basically, it's quite smaller. Another thing, when you do give the second doing the second movement use a little more strength like this weak and strong and weak and strong and weak and strong you see now the truck is walking This is basically it. One last hint. If you're doing, if you're using this technique on a, an acoustic guitar like I am doing, you're going to have two different sounds in two different positions. Here, as you know, the sound is more um, closed. Here is more open. If you can hear, you see? Close, huge, dark. Oops, sorry. Open, theme. So basically, while making this movement on an acoustic guitar, is gonna make you have two different sounds at the same time. A closed one on the weak movements and the open one on the strong movements. Basically, this is gonna make your rhythm track come to life. So, uh, basically, this is uh, pretty much it. I hope this hint is going to come in uh, handy. And see you in my next video. Bye!